Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog, welcome to a page in the chapter. If you are new here, my name is Paige and welcome to another reading vlog. It is once again a Wednesday morning, I have another couple of days off and I'm very very excited to read. As you can tell, my hair is in need of a real big wash so i'm very excited to wash my hair today and then the other plan of action is to get a big chunk of the falling in love montage read i read about 60 pages yesterday the writing style of this is very ya i don't like hate it though but it is like very teenager like writing in her diary kind of dialogue that Kira Smith has really given the voice of the narrator of our main character a very like angsty teenager voice. Jury's still out on like whether I love or hate that yet but I'm excited to see where this story goes. That's the plan for these next couple of days to get a big chunk of that read. I need to edit the video that's going out tonight because I've been really lazy and I just haven't done it. But yeah, plan for the plan for today is pretty much just edit, read, and then maybe play a little bit of Animal Crossing because I have to check turnip prices, which if you play Animal Crossing, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then there's just no point me going into it. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to go have breakfast and finish getting ready and I will catch up with you guys later. My video is edited. The vlog that is going up, the vlog that is going up tonight is fully edited and ready to go and whilst I was editing it I was like actually having fun editing it so maybe my like booktube mojo is coming back a little bit. I still have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna film tomorrow to go up on Friday. As I like mentioned in the vlog that's going up tonight so my last vlog if you haven't seen it. A lot of my like ideas and inspiration for booktube are longer form videos that I just don't have the time to film now I've even like got vlogs that I started like last month or something that like this month I just I don't have the time to finish them. I'm barely reading as it is let alone doing a whole like secret TBR on, on top like it, it's just gonna have to wait until I'm in a better reading space but it is making like content creation a little hard for me because everything I'm inspired to make I just don't have the time or the energy to make right now. I'm really hoping that after the Christmas rush my hours are gonna come down a little bit and if they don't then I'm probably gonna ask them to bring my hours down just a little bit. Run up to Christmas it's super super busy I'm not gonna like leave them in the lurch or like ask for them to come down right now. There's nothing wrong with my hours it's just making content creation a little bit difficult. But anyway, I'm just gonna download, is that the word I'm looking for? I'm gonna download my video to my external hard drive because my Mac has no storage. And then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna go shower and actually wash my freaking hair because I feel disgusting. And then I'm gonna catch up with you and I'm gonna read at least another 50 pages of this. I think if I go into reading with like, okay, we're gonna do this in 50 page chunks, like a little bit of like mini sprints with myself. It might be a little bit easier. Cause like the last time I was in a slump, you guys, if you've seen those vlogs, I like challenged myself to read a hundred pages a day. And that was how I got myself out of the slump. So I might do it with like 50 pages cause a hundred pages is a little bit daunting and it's probably gonna make me not wanna read. So today we'll just do like 50 page increments and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower now cause I, really like I cannot tell you how much I need to. I'm very behind schedule because I took a very long period out of my day to have a dance party to Red Taylor's version. I have the very first night stuck in my head very much and also message in a bottle really growing on me. I thought it was like very childish when I first heard it. I love it. It's just serotonin in a song like why did I ever put it down? But it is now time to read the Falling in Love montage and I am cozy and I'm about to go downstairs and get some hot chocolate because I'm freezing over here with some wet hair and I'm gonna read and hopefully I will have a visit from one of the woofers because I, I want some puppy cuddles today we'll see what happens Marvin give him some room leave it Stop getting jealous. Stop getting jealous.
I haven't moved in hours. This whole vlog has been me sitting against this wall with Neville like peeping in the corner and I apologise for that. But I have reached page 200 of the falling in love montage and this is the most I've read in one sitting in about three weeks. So I'm pretty happy about that if I do say so myself. Although I'm pretty sure by the end of this month I will have only read four books which is honestly really not bad for someone who is also working but I'm used to reading about 10 books a month so it, it's a little shock to the system but I'm really enjoying this. When I started it I was really quite nervous about the writing style and I don't particularly relate to our main character at all so I was like kind of worried about it but if I'm honest with you the more I read, the more I just can't put it down. And Rachel was right. Like the family elements of this book are really the selling point. The connection she has with her mum, the way she's like trying to bond with her dad. It is quite, girl has a load of problems with her family, but the book is about her actually like bonding with them and moving past those problems. And it's a really, really big part of the book. Again, probably bigger than the romance elements is the family elements and I love that for this book. I'm really really enjoying it. Dare I say might be able to finish it tomorrow because I'm halfway through and it's been a day and I'm sure I'll keep reading today so I can be over halfway through by the end of today hopefully. So then even if my reading motivations go away I should still only have a little bit left. To motivate myself to read tomorrow and it feels really like because i had yesterday off as well i just didn't vlog it because i really wanted to just rest yesterday it feels like i have work tomorrow but i don't i have another day off like i have most of this week off which is just honestly crazy but so needed yeah i'm really excited about this and i just wanted to like pop in and tell you that i have reached page 202 it's really enjoyable i can definitely see why rachel recommended this to me because i am a whore for family relationships and this book has a lot of them i would like you guys to know that i've stood up and moved across my room just so i can update you without having the same gray wall as the background. I'm on page 252 of this book. It is a 380-ish page book so if I leave it now I've got about 150 pages to read tomorrow. It's a bit more than I would like if I like read another 50 pages and just had it be like 100 tomorrow that would be better. I really want to play The Sims or Animal Crossing or something like I want a game. I think I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Barring like major major slump it should be doable to read 150 pages tomorrow. It's a risk that I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna hope that I can finish it tomorrow and I do have Friday morning as well because I'm not at work until five I believe so like it's I'm really not in a bad situation here. My thoughts on this book haven't really changed. I don't think it's going to be anything special for me or like my favourite book of all time or like anything like too major but I am really enjoying it and I think I'm probably going to give it like four stars maybe. I really like the movie references. I think those are really fun and I've just seen that at the back there's like a categorised list of a load of rom-coms and that makes me happy because who doesn't need more like cozy romantic comedy movies? Like I am a massive rom-com watcher. I don't watch movies but if I do it's a rom-com. I'm happy about it. I just think this book is cute and everything that you could really want in a YA romance, especially if you want a sapphic romance. This is so fun and so well written and really like how the author's trying to like challenge perceptions in queer literature and I'm really really enjoying it. But yeah, it's just not going to be like my new favourite book of all time. But definitely a good one. I am going to wrap up my vlogging for the night here because I just, I want to like properly like relax. And whilst I can relax when I'm vlogging, I can't like fully shut my brain down because I'm like, I know I've got to like vlog or anything. If anything interesting does happen, I will just pick up the camera and vlog it. But for the most part, I'll see you tomorrow morning.
Good morning, guys. I am coming in to the book room with a bottle of vodka. That can only mean it's time for another drinking game. A time to film another drinking game. I don't really want to do this. Drinking makes me kind of anxious. I'm feeling anxious already. I just, I, I want like a cozy video. I want to be putting out cozy stuff. And like, it's just, I'm not happy with this video idea today. I have to film it today because it needs to go out tomorrow. Everyone like on YouTube or in like the content creation community is always like, oh, make sure that you're like only putting content out that you're really proud of and you really love. But that's just not always possible. You just, if you want to keep putting out content like regularly, you can't always love it. It's just not possible. You guys will have already seen this video by the time you're watching this vlog. Just know I'm not 100% happy with the idea of this video. The last thing I want to do at like 12 o'clock on a Thursday is start drinking a bottle of vodka. But I don't have any other ideas that I can film right now. This is what we're doing and it's making me feel really like upset with myself to be honest. I feel like I'm not putting into my channel what I should be putting into it because I'm filming a video idea that I don't love. But like the same amount of effort, in fact even more effort is going into this video than one that I do love. It's just really hard to reconcile because everyone on the internet is like you should love a hundred percent of the content you're making and I genuinely don't understand how it's possible to do that whilst also having a life outside of YouTube. But good morning, that's I've woken up in just like a sad a sad mood but it's okay because I just have to film this, start editing it and play Animal Crossing and cheer myself up a little bit and I'm going to do some journaling today so I'm determined to make it a good day. It's my last day off and I'm determined not to ruin it with my brain but I've just got to get through this first. We spin it. Oh we're gonna stop spinning. I'm not drunk per se. I didn't drink a lot. I just drank it very very quickly. I feel like if you watch the video that I just filmed, you'll be like, how can she possibly be feeling the effects of the alcohol? There wasn't a lot of it. And no, there wasn't. But you forget that I went from drinking very, very regularly at uni to not having a single drink in the past, like, nearly six months. God, has it been that long since I graduated? <laughs> I'm so old. So yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna go edit now. And then when my vision stops being fuzzy, which could just be because I'm not wearing my glasses. Let's see. This is like a constant battle that I have whenever I drink. Okay. Okay. It's a little laggy, but I'm, it's, it was just the vision that it was. Okay. That's good to know. So yeah, I'm going to edit. And then when I've calmed down a little bit, I'm going to do some more work on my reading journal and I, I will bring you along with me for that. I have edited, I uh, edited, I've edited like half the video. I've got eight minutes of raw footage left, which sounds easier than it is because with these types of videos, Marvin's our time. With these types of videos, I have to also like put in the screen recordings of Goodreads and stuff. So it's not actually just eight minutes of footage. Like it'll take me maybe like another hour or so to do that, but that is fine and chill. And yeah, I'm in a good spot. So it's about half two. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna do another 50 to 100 pages of reading. And I'll bring you along with me for that. I have no idea what I'm gonna have for lunch it we need to go shopping i'm giving a lot of pointless updates today but i feel like it <laughs> ruby is kind of getting on my nerves she just doesn't respect boundaries or privacy at all and i feel like she's supposed to be a little bit of like a manic pixie dream girl and it it's just kind of this whole like manic vibe that she's giving off it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit I don't think it will affect my overall rating of this book. Yeah, I'm still enjoying it. I just, she just keeps pushing and pushing and involving herself in situations that are really nothing to do with her. And I do think that's accurate for a teenager, to be honest. But it's just kind of irritating to read, especially because as the reader, you know what our main character is hiding and how badly she wants to keep it hidden. 
So to have Ruby constantly, constantly pushing her and trying to find out what she's hiding is really annoying. <laughs> finished it. I finished another book. So that is another win for the non-reading slump part of my brain. I didn't love the ending of this book. I liked what happened between our main character and Ruby. Notice I keep saying I'm in character rather than attempting to pronounce her name. Like, I really liked that ending. I thought it was a really original ending and fit with the whole theming of this book and their relationship. I thought it was really clever and I really liked it. I didn't like what happened with our main character's life. <laughs> I really, really hate when main characters give up absolutely huge opportunities to stay home. And I understand why she did it. There's a whole book making sure she like you understand why she wants to stay at home but i just i can't relate to it like maybe i'm just a bitch but no matter what was going on in my life i would not pass up on the opportunity that she did i just found her a very difficult character to relate to but that did not hamper my enjoyment i will be giving this four stars perfect easy sapphic fun ya romance read it really just it ticks all the boxes and as i said all the movie references are actually really fun and like not cliche because it's kind of satire and i just i thought the ending was like the romance aspect of the ending was really unique and i really enjoyed it so this will be four stars I think my next read might be, hmm, let's have a look. I think my next read, sorry, I've got a very heavy st stack of books up here. There we go. I think my next read is going to be A Sky Painted Gold, because I'm, I'm no longer feeling the romance vibe. I'm now feeling the cosy vibe all the Christmas decorations at work have gone up. The Christmas playlist has been turned on since I've like last been at work. Gonna like I've started ordering people's Christmas presents. It's gonna be like time for the tree soon enough. Not like that soon. I'm not a crazy person. I will wait until December, but like there's only like another week left of November. So like now I'm in Christmas cozy mood and this fits the vibe. What is in here? oh my dog books bookmark oh okay that's sweet i'll be using that one so i'll be starting this next but first i need to check animal crossing and do some animal crossing things and i really wanted to work on my reading journal today but i just didn't really get the time the only things i really have left on it to set up are i need to put in the like book series that i want to finish next year page like the series tracker i need to fill that in because i once i set my december tbr i'll obviously know what series i haven't i'm not going to be finishing so i can put those in in then and I need to set up like the January spreads. But that's about it. All the other than the series tracker, which is like planned out, just need to fill it in. And January, everything is set up in my reading journal. So I'm very glad that I started it in October because it's taken me a very long time to get to this point. So I was, I was right to start early. Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna play some Animal Crossing and if anything interesting happens, I'll catch up with you. Hello friends, it's editing page here, a week later, I didn't finish this vlog, so this is me finishing it, um, I do apologise that this keeps happening, I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, I just want to say big big thank you for watching this video, I do hope that you enjoyed and you enjoyed this vlog, um, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to keep seeing vlogs and you enjoyed this vlog, etc, etc, also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Page and Chapter so you can get more up to date behind the scenes what I'm reading and how I'm reviewing it. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic week and you're enjoying everything you are reading. I am going to wrap this up now. And yeah, apologies for constantly forgetting to end my vlogs. It's just on brand at this point. I will see you for my next video. Bye guys.